Okay, so just a little overview of what RGB masks are. As you can see, I've used mine as an emissive. Um, basically, an RGB mask is images that are held within one texture on the RGB and alpha channels. So as you can see here, depending on which channel I plug it into, will illuminate the various parts of my model. Now this is best used, like this next example, where I've used three of the masks to put uh, emissive colours in, which can also can be combined to get different colours. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is uh, make sure your model has a UVW unwrap. Um, I've just done the basic one. I've not tweaked it or anything. Mine's just, yeah, it's good enough for the job. So this is mine. Right, okay, setting up the model for the mask. Now there's lots of different ways to do this, but I found this way easy. Normally you'd use, you could use the UVs that you've done earlier on, but it means you'd have to take out all the lines and stuff that you didn't want by hand, which is a pain. So this way you'd, you'd highlight all, any polygons that you want to change in your RGB mask. So anything that you want, you might want to change, you would do this, just give it a basic material, nothing special, just any material. And then you'd bake it out as shown here. So I've already created one in the past, so I'll just delete this. And you have to have your model selected for this. So just go to diffuse. And then you need to render this out. So as you can see, the rest don't matter. All you're really interested in is the green because they're the parts that we want to mask. So we have all them, so we need to save this, which I will do. Um, I've already got one here, this is an old one, so saving over this. Okay. And that's that. Okay, so I've imported the mask texture beak into Photoshop and now I just have to multi-select all these green parts. Make sure we get all these. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to paint everything else black because that's the part we don't want so um we'll just make this brush bigger so we don't have to mess around up um right i need to invert it so you select all the green uh then you want to invert it and then make sure you're on the color black and then just black it all out then you want to invert it again so that'll be all the green parts selected and then you want to change that to white because this part is what will be seen and we color them in white and that's that part done okay so we have our black and white image we need to create our new image which will actually be the mask it's got to be the same resolution so whatever you baked it out as mine was 2048 by 2048 and then we'll need to paint this black now in the other black and white image you want to have everything selected the whole image selected like that control and cop c for copy it and then we go to the main image that we'll be using 
And what we need to do is go to the channels and just highlight the red one. And we'll copy that into there. And we'll go into the green, copy it, and copy it into the blue. And if you want an alpha, copy it into the alpha channel. Now we'll go back up to the red channel because this is what we want is to, we'll just have for the red channel, we'll just have this circle visible. So we're going to get rid of everything else. So for that, we'll just make sure it's black and then just wipe out all the lines on there. So on the, so on the first channel, we just have the circle. And for the second one, we will have the circle not visible so we'll choose to get rid of this one so for the green channel we'll just have these visible uh, for the blue channel what we'll do is just have some of the lines gone uh, like this and then for the alpha channel we'll leave that as is with everything so each individu individual channel is a different mask combined it looks like this. Okay, so I need to save this out. Make sure the model's in 8-bit color and RGB, um, and then save it as a, a target file. Okay, so now we need to import it into the Unreal Engine or whichever engine you're using um, and just import it in. Okay, that's not the correct one. That's the old one that I had. Um, I need the TG Tagger one. Um, where is it? Okay, oh, there it is. Right, okay, if we have a look at this then, and as you can see, if we display each channel individually we can see the white is the area that will be used the black is not going to be used so within this one material we have four different varieties I remember the alpha jam channel does cost a bit more data to that texture so I'll only use that if you have to um, so that's okay so this is my model and as you can see I've use my emissive mask and you just drag that into the material editor and hook it up in this case i've used it as an emissive which as you can see by plugging it into the different rgb pins give out different results whichever is white would appear as the color that you want as another example well, as you can see here coming off the red channel um, I have the yellow color um, and then from the green channel I have the green color hooked up and then for this red one here which I've got hooked up into the alpha channel if I if you watch this um, and as I hook this up it combines because it's combining the masks which have two of these mask channels have this obviously so it's combining the orange from it uh, sorry the yellow and the red to make the orange and as you can see it's also changing one of the other masks a bit because one of the other masks have part of these as well so it combines the colors so um as i said um it doesn't have to be for a emissive channel it could be for your normal base color and you could these could be textures just normal like for a chair you could have like parts of it wood parts of it metal plastic you know however you want and it's obviously up to four different combinations so this is a, a really useful setup to um, have so there you have it uh, thanks for uh, watching and subscribe if you'd like to see more stuff like this in the future cheers